Hello amazing artists. Today we are going to do our dot day project. This year dot day is the same day as our author visit and the author that's coming to visit us, Chris Barton, is um, he has a book called Glow which is also our school wide theme this year, Geckos Grow to Glow. So I picked out some cool neon paper for our dot day projects. Um, but his new book is all about glitter. So we're combining glow and glitter for our dots this year, just because he's gonna be here on dot day. Um, so when you get your paper, you're gonna notice that there's already a dot on it and all you have to do is label it. So at the bottom, you're gonna write your name. I'm gonna write my name on the bottom. Um, and then whatever you do for your design, you just want to make sure that you're not covering it up. Now, we're going to be drawing on our dot with glue, and then we're going to pick one glitter, one, one glitter to go onto it. So that's why we're working on top of a tray. And if you want to sketch out your design before you draw it with glue, you absolutely can. But keep in mind that you are, you know, going to be running out of um, time if you do that. So um, you only have this one class period to work. So um, think about how you want to design it. If you wanted to write your name in glitter, you absolutely could do that. If you wanted to draw a little picture with glue and then put glitter on it, also fine. If you wanted to take this opportunity to create um, some kind of radial design. Remember radial design is when it's, I mean radial symmetry. Radial symmetry is when it's not only symmetrical on one side and the other, but it's also symmetrical going all the way around the radius of a circle. Um, so like if I did this here and then on the other side it was backwards and then it would kind of like just go all the way around. Um, so that's radial symmetry. So um, you could also design it like a mandala and um, we did mandalas for dot day a few years ago, so those of you who are around for that might remember. But um, basically to do a mandala, you want to create a design that has um, radial symmetry, but a lot of mandalas also have like a circle, circular square um, kind of rotating motif. So if I wanted to do a mandala, I might start off with a circle in the middle and then I would put a square, and then I have like a circle, right? And so I might want to do, you know, something like this, and then I could, you know, put some hearts around it to create my like radial design mandala motif. Again, you don't have to do this. You can do whatever you want for your, um, for your project. This is just an idea of something that might be fun looking in glitter and also is something you could do pretty quickly because again, you're fighting against time with glue. All right, so that's what I'm doing for mine. You can, again, do whatever you want. You could do a name design, you could do whatever, it doesn't matter. Then you're gonna get a glue bottle. And when you're using glue, I want you to remember that you always open it with the orange part of the glue. Don't ever twist this part because that's gonna take the whole lid off and the glue is gonna go all over your dot and that's just gonna be what your dot is because we don't have enough to give you more than one. So when you are opening it, you're just turning the orange part and there are two ways to know if your glue is not clogged. One is that you can hear it breathe. All right, so you can hear it breathe. That way you know, totally not clogged, I can hear the sound coming out of it. The other is when you open it, glue will actually come out of the tip. And then you know it's not clogged because glue is coming out of it, right? So those are the two ways you know. If either of those don't happen, raise your hand, the teacher will come around and help you. So I'm gonna take this and I'm literally just going to draw with my glue bottle. And since I drew a design on here already, I'm just gonna trace it. All right. And 
And I am going a little off script here with my hearts because I drew those way too small for my glue. So let that be a lesson to you. You don't want it to be way too teeny tiny with your glue. All right, so now I've done it. I'm not worrying about my edges or anything. Now I'm going to sprinkle some glitter on here. And I just remembered that I totally skipped the very first step, which is to cut your dot out. So yours is not gonna look anything like this because yours is just gonna be a dot because you already cut it out. Good for you, way to go. All right, so as you can see, I didn't cover the entire thing with glitter. I just sprinkled some glitter on it. I worked on top of the tray. There shouldn't be any glitter off of your tray when you're doing this. And now I'm gonna take the glitter that I put on there and I'm just gonna shake it around. I'm gonna tap it off and I'm gonna leave it on the tray. And from here, this can go on the drying rack. This will go to your teacher who will take care of getting the glitter back in the appropriate glitter container. All right, so that's it. That's how you are going to create your dot for dot day. And let's get, let's look to your teacher for more, more directions.